this video we will install a server for the desktop. This is going to be ZAMP. It is an Apache server with MySQL and PHP included. There is also something called MAMP and WAMP and LAMP. Those are all for the the WAMP is for Windows only, MAP is for a Mac only, and LAMP is for a Linux only. But ZAMP is for any one of those. So we are going to install ZAMP and put it right here on, I'm going to put it on my Windows C drive. You can put it anywhere you want. And it's going to, by default, go into Windows C drive. So let's go to Google and Google ZAMP. And here is the download link. Just download. Now you can download for Linux or Mac. I'm going to download the latest version for Windows. And it's downloading right now. And be sure to read in the install instructions and FAQs if you want. I never read it. Okay, so on Windows, once I see it, it's all installed, I can just click on that. Ignore that. Click next. Click next. I'm going to accept the C drive ZAMP. So it's going to go into a ZAMP folder. It's going to create the folder. Accept English. And you pretty much just accept everything. And now we're done. So click finish. Okay, so now we have this folder right here in the C file. Now this pops up. This is the control panel. We need to click start. That's going to turn the server on. If we also want to use MySQL, we click start, which we're not going to do right now, but we'll click it anyway. It turns green within like a second. None of the other stuff we are going to use. So now that we have that open, we, or, or started, now that everything's green, we can just click the X. It doesn't need to stay open. So let's take a look at this folder right here. It's in ZAMP. This is everything that we might need. But we're not going to use any of this stuff except for this folder right here. It's called htdocs. Okay, so now let's see if we can go to index. We can't just right click this and open with because it's not going to work well, we could with applications because that's an html document but we're not going to do that what we're going to do and go back to the c file we're going to open up index.php and see what that looks like but it's in a folder called htdocs we need to access this file through the server and through the URL, but we can't do just htdocs. It always has to be localhost. Okay, so since it's an index file, we should get it right here, and that's exactly where we get the dashboard. But we do need this file right here, my PHP my admin. Okay, this is where we are going to create our databases. See, ZAMP is a database management system, and we don't need that open anymore. So, with this PHP MyAdmin, it's always, I think it's a good idea to somehow add a bookmark, and I'm going to Chrome, I'm just going to add it to the, the bar. Okay, so, let's go back. Now, I'm in Sublime Text, and I'm going to create another file. I'm going to save this file. And I'm going to save it in the ZAMP folder. Under htdocs. But I'm going to create another folder. This is where our project is going to be. We're going to call it food. Okay. And so I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to save the file. It's index dot php so now this is going to be food slash index dot php and i'm going to save it and 
So in the next video, what we're going to do is create this index.php and we're going to create a menu that's going to take us to all of our other pages. But so far, right now, we do have XAMPP installed and we're ready to go to the next step, creating our pages and our database. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.